Good evening, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, today we find ourselves at a crossroads of technology and unpredictability. The recent global IT outage triggered by the CrowdStrike security update on Microsoft Cloud Services has sent ripples across industries, affecting businesses, airlines, media outlets. This event serves as a stark reminder of the inherent randomness in our interconnected world and the limitations of our control over it. For those of us in professional realms, this outage was not just an inconvenience, it is a critical disruption. US Airlines experienced flight cancellations um, yesterday, including delays, leaving thousands of passengers stranded. Media outlets in Australia, the lifelines of real-time information were inca incapacitated unable to broadcast crucial updates. The very fabric of our daily operations were really tested. Let's take a moment to reflect on this incident. In a world where we rely heavily on data and analytics and advanced technologies to predict managed outcomes, an unexpected event like this can shake our confidence. It challenges our belief uh, in the infallibility of our systems and reminds us that despite our best efforts, we are all not immune to the whims of chance. The outage highlighted several uh, vulnerabilities. Airlines, for instance, depend on seamless communication and scheduling systems to operate efficiently. When these systems went down, the resulting chaos was immediately felt and very much far-reaching. Similarly, especially in Australia, media outlets which thrive on the ability to deliver timely news were left in the dark, unable to fulfill their crucial role in society. Now this brings us to an essential lesson, the need to build resilience in the face of unpredictability. Resilience isn't about eliminating risks, but about preparing for and adapting to unexpected challenges. It's about creating systems that can withstand shocks and recover quickly. But consider the case of US Airlines um, just a couple of days ago in the news you can read during the outage. The immediate impact was evident in the form of grounded flights and flights left in the air and disrupted schedules. However, the long-term implications were equally significant. Airlines had to re-evaluate their dependency on single points of failure and begin to explore diversified, redundant systems to ensure continuity. Media outlets face a similar conundrum. With their primary channels of communication compromised, they had to rely on backup plans alternatively um, use other platforms and even manual processes like a phone to disseminate information. Now this incident underscored the importance of having robust contingency strategies in place. From a philosophical standpoint, this outage invites us to reconsider our relationship with control and randomness. Ancient Stoic philosophers believed in focusing on what we can control and accepting what we cannot. Now, this perspective is particularly relevant today. While we strive to minimize risks through careful planning and advanced technologies, we must also accept that everything is not, is not within our grasp. Existentialist thinkers like Jean-Paul Sartre and Albert Camus highlighted the absurdity and unpredictability of life. They argued that while we cannot control the randomness of existence, we can choose how we respond to it. Now, this mindset encourages us to find some meaning and some purpose even in the face of chaos. So, how can we apply these philosophical insights to our professional lives? Here are some suggestions you may, you may want to consider. Firstly, we might want to consider cultivating a mindset 
that is open to change and ready to adapt, sort of embracing flexibility. In business, this might mean developing agile processes that pivots quickly in response to unexpected events. Just as financial investors diversify their portfolios, organizations should begin to diversify their dependencies. This could involve having multiple suppliers, alternative communication channels, and backup systems, or possibly do not rely on one operating system, start working on another alternative operating system as a backup. A third option, a third suggestion, ensure that Critical systems have backups and that contingency plans are in place. For airlines, for instance, this might mean having multiple scheduling systems running on uh, an, a parallel uh, system. For media outlets, it could involve having alternative broadcast platforms, maybe reverting back to the microwave technology back in the day. Fourthly, encourage a culture that views challenges as opportunities for learning and growth. This involves not just preparing for disruptions, but also learning from them and to improve resilience and generate new methods and procedures. As we navigate the complexities of our modern world, let us embrace the inherent randomness with a resilient spirit. Let us prepare, adapt, and learn from each disruption, turning challenges into opportunities for growth and innovation. This recent global IT outage has shown us that while we cannot control every variable, we can control our response. By building, by building resilient systems and cultivating a flexible, growth-oriented mindset, we can begin to navigate the unpredictable landscape of the future with confidence and with strength. Thank you for watching. Until the next uh, segment, the next episode, please um, do like and share this video with um, your friends and your professional network. Until then, stay safe. Catch you guys later.